Hi, I'm Dustin Weiniger. I'm here today to talk about the two big hitters in the manufacturing of reproduction Colt revolvers, Uberti and Pieta. I was browsing the Black Powder Revolver Enthusiast Facebook page and I saw a good question. Garrett writes, is there any discernible difference between Uberti and Pieta? Now that's a great question and it's one that I've received a lot of messages about, people asking me my preference and which one I recommend. So why don't we take a look at some examples of each and we'll talk about it. I have four revolvers to show you as examples. I have three here on the table as well as one that I sold but still have a photo of. So starting at the top, I've got the Colt Walker reproduction. That's made by Uberti. Then right here, I've got a reproduction of the Colt Single Action Army. This one is made by Pieta. And down here is the 1851 Colt Navy made by Pieta. The fourth that I sold is another Uberti, and that is the Uberti Cattleman, which is another clone of the Single Action Army. But that one has a four and three quarter inch barrel, unlike the seven and a half inch barrel shown here. Well, the first thing I want to mention when you're deciding between Uberti and Pieta is cost. That might be a factor for some, and I've noticed that the difference in cost between the two brands is usually not too significant, although sometimes. Typically though, you know, there are a lot of factors. It can depend on the store and what their markup is and whether you buy new or used. But I found if you average it all out, you're going to find that usually the Uberti is going to run just a little more expensive. So if that is a factor, that's something to look at. But I've never seen the quality so bad on Uberti that I wasn't willing to pay that. Another thing I should mention is the action. When you're buying a new revolver, you want to pick it up and check the action on it. When I bought that Uberti Cattleman, the gun was always one that would shoot fine, but the action was rough. I would pull the hammer back and it was sluggish, the cylinder didn't want to turn sometimes, and that really put me off of Uberti for a while. But when I bought the Walker, I picked it up in the store and that action is just smooth. Such a black and white contrast from my previous experience. So that really made me realize not all Uberti's are bad. I may have got a bad one, but you're going to find that with Pieta as well. But this one just is fantastic. On the Pietas, this revolver here, for a clone of a single action army, other than the ones that have been slicked up for competition, I have never found an equal to this one. Just a very smooth action and a perfect timing. If you look closely at this cylinder, it doesn't have any trace of the ring that sometimes they get from the bolt not going into the grooves just perfectly at the right time. This one has been used a lot, but that bolt stays down until the perfect moment, and so it never rubs on the cylinder. And again, that hammer is just very, very smooth. My Navy, which is also made by Pieta, has a bit of a stiffer spring on the hammer, but it is also very smooth. And you also want to make sure that the chambers are lining up perfectly under the hammer, which these all do. Now let's talk a little about fit and finish. On this 1851 Navy, the fit and finish is just okay. The wood is wider than the frame substantially. The wood does not come all the way up to the brass. I've noticed it has very sharp corners. I would say extremely sharp corners on the metal. And right up here, it even has corners that turn and go out and it really tears up the cleaning rags. So there's just a lot to be desired on the fit and finish of this 1851 Navy. But it shoots great, so I try not to let it bother me. On this Pieta, the single action army, the fit and finish is near perfect. Everything lines up great. Parts all come together smoothly. So even within one brand, you can find some big differences. On the Uberti Cattleman that I had, again, fit and finish was actually pretty rough, which was one of the things that led to having a bad action. But the fit and finish on my Walker is probably the best of all the revolvers that I have. Couldn't ask for better than what this one is. So fit and finish can vary a lot within each brand. Another thing worth mentioning is the grips. On my Cattleman and on my 1851 Navy, the grips have sort of a matte finish, not much shine to them. And I like that because it really sticks on my skin and doesn't slip and slide around in my hand when I'm shooting. Where on my single action army and on my walker, the grips are both very shiny, even though again, those are different brands. So I've not found that shiny grips are unique to one brand or that matte grips are unique to one brand. That's something that can vary and you'll find pros and cons to both. Finally, I want to talk about markings. Every gun has to have on it the manufacturer's name, it'll typically tell you where it's made, and the caliber that it shoots. 
Now, Pieta, this is something that I don't like on Pietas. If I hold up this navy, you can see, I don't know if it'll come into focus, but right here in view, it has Pieta's name, and it says Made in Italy. Well, that's obviously not historically correct. This obviously doesn't hurt the way the gun functions, but it's a little bit annoying, I think, to have that so visible on my gun. And on the other side, it tells me black powder only, 36 caliber. Well, of course, it's black powder only if it's from the 1800s. They didn't have smokeless powder until almost 1900. So it's a little silly that it would say black powder only. Now, I know that they have to say that. There's a liability there and other things. But I just don't like that it's so visible on the gun. This other Pieta, same thing. They put it right on the bottom of the barrel. And I apologize for how much glare. But you can see where the markings all are. It says Pieta and it says the name of the gun and the caliber. So again, plain view. But you birdie, they got this right. If I show you the barrel here, again, there's a lot of glare. But all the way around, that barrel is clean. You're not seeing any markings on it. Nothing that says anything ridiculous like black powder only. It doesn't say you birdie. You just have markings you want to see, like US 1847 that you would expect. Now, this gun does have markings of you birdie and black powder only. But they were brilliant. They put that under the loading lever. So you have to drop that in order to see where they've marked it up. And I like that. As long as the loading lever is up, this gun looks historically accurate. Now, before anybody attacks me on that statement in the comments, I realize there are some Finnish issues on this that are not quite historically accurate. But you know what I mean. As far as markings go, I think you birdie really wins on that. Now, as you can see, I've had good things to say about Pieta. I've had negative things to say about Pieta. I've had good things to say about Uberti and negative things to say about Uberti. I think both of these companies have had some flaws over the years, but I also think both companies make outstanding products. When I go to a gun store, when I'm in the market for a new revolver, I'm honestly not thinking Uberti versus Pieta. What I do is I pick up the individual gun because, like I said, even in the same brand, they'll have different grips, they'll have different fit and finish, they'll have different smoothness in their action. So I don't recommend that you go with a brand name in mind. I recommend that you just shop around as much as you can and inspect as many individual firearms as you can and make a decision based on the individual gun since they both have pros and they both have cons. Well, thank you for that question, Garrett. That was a great one and a good thing to address. As always, I hope you all enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Don't forget to click that like button below and subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos. Thank you so much for watching.